Welcome, plungers. Thanks for pulling up and tapping in. And as you can see, we back with the drip. Yeah, the model walk. Yeah, you see it. You see it. So I'm going to do a little something different in this episode. This episode is all about some of the features of these mods I have. And we're going to start with this... Uh, this egg collector, I think it's called. Yes, egg collector. So it just basically, it's self-explanatory. It just collects, oh, my Quetzal is female. My Titan Boba is female. No, actually, the, something that I didn't know is the Titan Boa is asexual. There's no male or female for the Titan Boa. And I did not know that. Okay, so first of all, this is the anthill. So in the anthill, you throw in some uh, bug repellent and the ants will climb out of it and all you need is a tame nearby to eat them. And that would be your source of chitin. This is a honey synthesizer. I'm not exactly what, sh what exactly to throw in here. I think it might be rare flower. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's rare flower. Throw rare flower in here and it will create honey passive. In here, you throw whatever meat you have that can be preserved and it will preserve the meat. It runs off of electricity and not spark powder. That's that. Oh, wait a minute. There's this thing right here. This is medical station is called the medical station and I presume what you just do is just stand on it and will heal whatever is on this platform I might put it outside I, I might put it outside and tell you the perfectly honest truth so yeah since I've got some of them on me we'll start with the skin for the pickaxe <laughs> it's hilarious man Let's find some rocks to crush with this thing. It, it's hilarious. Yeah, this is hilarious. <laughs> and the next, since we're here, is the hatchet. You put it on any hatchet, stone, whatever, and it will it'll do its work. And it's hilarious. And the last one is this one. Syntax calls it uh, something else. But it is uh, the balloon animal skin for the sword. And as you can see, it does damage. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I didn't name the Dinosuchus yet. Did not name this. Uh, Flukes is the only one pretty much that has a name. I mean, I might have. I named my T Rex which is Tennyson, and I named one other tame. But yeah, um, the very next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a couple of chibis here, and then we're gonna go through and see what, what we get as far as chibis is concerned. So I can create two. It requires, um, prime meat jerky so I have two of them a Theomia and a Mosh Chops and I have several of them already and uh, if you didn't notice I have I have my guy here the Dodo I will just go through the rest of them and see what they look like so we have the Terror Bird and I'm gonna name it I'm gonna name it Ugly. Because that's what it is. It is not a very cute or good looking. Yeah. It's not one I would have I would have used. The next one on the list is the Ammonite. Which is weird because it just floats in the air in a bubble. Because it's aquatic. Aquatic? Aquatic. It's a water animal, so it needs that bubble to exist in 
in air, but let's see something real quick. I wonder if the bubble is still present underwater. And no, the bubble is not present underwater. So let's get back inside before we get, actually I'm not really worried about being ambushed out here because I've got the turrets, but yeah, those Nothosaurs are a uh, are pain in the butt, man. They, they're everywhere. The next one is the Fiomia, the one we just made. Uh, let's name it Piglet. Because I'm a Winnie the Pooh fan. Oh my goodness. This thing is adorable. Okay, I think the Fiomia is my favorite now. I think the Fiomia is my favorite. I might throw that on. And, well, let's see what the Moss Chops looks like. Let's name it Chop. After Franklin's dog in Grand Theft Auto. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is incredibly cute also. I mean, the eyes are kind of creepy, but my Shops is a cute one as well. Something is getting attacked out there. Let's check out... Let us check out the next one, which is the Dodo. So we'll skip that one. We did the Fiomia, the Ammonite, the Terror Bird. Let's check out the Micro Raptor. You might recognize it from a previous episode. The Micro Raptor is, is gorgeous. It's got beautiful colors. It's gorgeous. Cute? Mm, I wouldn't say it's cute, and I hate these things. I do not like Micro Raptors, and this one's got a little bit of level in it. So I could, I could use Jira to get some levels. Let's do the Trudon. The Trudon is cute. Okay. I can't even front on the Trudon. The Trudon is nice. We won't play that game here. It's beautiful colored. It's very nice. And last but not least. Uh, nope. That was the last one. Was it? Yeah, that was the last one. So it just takes um, 10 prime meat jerky to create these. And that's... That's great. So this is the control console, which pulls items from everywhere. And I think even if you drop items, it's gonna pull items into its inventory. So you have to manually go in and you have to exclude structures you don't wanna have things pulled from. And yeah. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not exactly sure what this one does yet. Craft all, okay, craft all automated arc items. So there you go, that's, that's pretty easy to remember. I also added some animals to it. I added the phoenix and I added a tiger. Now, I want to go check out the Phoenix, and yeah, I'm definitely going to put this thing in there, because it's creepy. Now, I'm not sure if I should take Samantha, and this is one of the other tames that I've named. Samantha, because it's female, but it also looks like Toucan Sam. So, yeah. Gorgeous, man. Look at this. It looks like some some sorbet or sherbet or however you want to pronounce it. But we're going to head. Okay, we're going to head over there. We're going to add another, another level into Stam since we got it now. I'm going to put her down. I'm going to build it up. And we're going to come over here and we're... We're gonna save the rest of these dodos lives since we're here. We'll use what little stam we have. And we're gonna get over here to oh, look at this. Look at this thing. 
the bane to my existence. Is this the level 86 from earlier? It just might be. No, it's the level 35, so. There's a level 86 around here that looks a lot like that, that I will probably tame. I don't know what it, what's up with the levels for these creatures, but I don't really see terribly high levels all the time. So if I catch something above the level 70 or 80, yeah, chances are I'm going to grab it. But let's get over here and see if we can see one of these phoenixes. They are very, very easy to find around the lava island. And in the last episode, if you watched, I was teasing that I was going to build inside a little cave inside the lava island, but I realized it was more of a tunnel than a cave, and it existed on a pathway that spiraled around the mountain to the top of the volcano. Okay, there's another one here. Let's check out his level. 55. Okay, so I am going to put... Oh, there's another one right there also. So I'm going to put Samantha down. I'm going to check out this booth. Oh my goodness, this one is absolutely gorgeous. Let's get up on top of this rock so we can get a better view. And see what this thing looks like. Level 9. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh man. That almost perfectly matches Samantha. Wouldn't they make great mates? Mates? Partners, I don't mean mates as far as breeding, but partners. They would make great partners. Ride on this and have that in a cryo ball would be epic. Oh, is that a phoenix right there? No, that's a pteranodon. I'm not going to go all the way to the, to the lava island because one, those phoenix are incredibly fast and I don't want to get one aggro to me early and Samantha is not a very high level so we've got to try to preserve Samantha's life as much as possible until we can get some breeding done and get some of these colors into some other more powerful Argentavis so we've got our stamina back and we're gonna head over here to the lava island or the volcano island or whatever it is called in the groups in the community I'm gonna see if we can spot one of these Phoenix, which is the primary reason that I'm not building inside that tunnel. It's not a cave. It's open on both ends and it's got many openings on the top, which scare the crap out of me. So what is that up there? Trees. So let's find a little landing spot. Oh, look at that. Argentavis over there. That's a pretty one also. These, I'll say it over and over again, these summer bash colors are incredible. It's level 12, it's another level 12. Well, look at that one. That one is really nice looking. And yes, those Phoenix are very fast but they live around here. I believe they sleep during the day and they come out at night. And I was hoping I would see one. But as you can see here on the left, it is a mod that I have and that's pretty much what they look like. I haven't seen any other colors other than red and orange. But yeah, those are the mods that we have going. And yeah, it's great. If they attack me, I'm gonna have to defend myself, but I would really feel bad attacking one of these Argentavis. And if you saw that last episode, you know what happened the last time. One of them followed us into this base. So I was forced to build one of these. Oh, look, there's a beautiful T-Rex and it appears to be getting killed by a pyromane and I had a little bit of luck with the pyromane before so that pyromane is left 57 and this rex is level 35 and as you can see his health is going down don't know who's gonna win that one 
And then we have this guy here, level 86. So if that Pyromane decide, wants to get killed as soon as it's finished with its work, it will easily do that. But let's see if my Argentavis can fit in here. Uh, hopefully, yes, we can. And you had fall damage? How the hell did you get fall damage? You're a bird. You don't get fall damage. So, yeah, we got these two here, and I am, yeah, I'm most definitely going to breed these two together to see what crazy colors we can come up with. And that might be the next episode. The next episode, I might be doing that. Like, I'm trying to mix it up for you guys. I don't want to do everything build, and I'm not really the guy that's going to do all the... I'm terrible at the game. Let me just put it that way. So I'm not going to be the guy that's going to be going through caves on video because going through that snow cave took me about four hours and about it took me three or four sleeping bags until I decided to just make a permanent bed in front of the place. Yeah, and these things are up there. I don't know if it can get in through there, but yeah. And I haven't made the grapple grappling hooks yet. And I'm probably going to put, um, oh, we kept the, kept the little terror bird. All right, we'll keep the terror bird out for a little while. And I will have to go back to the dodo because right now I do have a level and I have no idea what to pump this level into. So I'm not really sure yet, but we'll get, we'll get to that. We'll get some more levels. When I get maybe four or five levels, I will throw some levels into stuff because I'll be able to spread them around but other than that that's all I really got for you guys you know I just wanted to update you on the mods and some of the features of some of the mods and real quick I'll go to the main menu and I'll show you actual mods that I have so I will display them to you real quick so you can see them before I check out of here so you can know what you can add to the game to have a similar gaming experience. But with this game, every gaming experience is different. So it's so it's Additions Ascended, Ceratosaurus, The Jumping Spider, Tiger, something that I added but have yet to find in this world. And when I do find one, I'll update you guys. I got the Nothosaurus, I got Griffins, I'm seeing quite a bit more of the griffins, so I'm going to move the griffins up in the queue because I really want to get one of those, and I'll probably put the tiger third because I'm definitely going to get those. Jumping spiders, got to do some caves to find some of those, and it's a really interesting taming method. Very interesting. You got to use the males and the females. Like, it's very interesting, but we'll get into that. I got Gigantoraptor, Improved Phoenix. I got the Stacking Mod craftable element and meat spoiling configurable cryopods which kills the cryo sickness and i could pick them up immediately western decor as you saw in the last episode in my room in the bungalow i have the egg collector as i showed you enhanced spyglass automated arc which is those control panels and those things and the summer bash which is my fits and the skins for the weapons but other than that that's all i got for today so Thank you guys again for tapping in and watching this far. I appreciate you all. See you in the next one. Peace.